Hello everyone, welcome back to the AMAC. We're using a 24 by 36 can. And this is our weekend painting tutorial for using the ultramarine blue titanium white to do our outline first. And I used some burnt sienna, burnt umber, sorry everyone, on the hair of Jesus. And I'm using these two colors in this brush to do an outline to start the red row. This is the colors. I've pre-mixed some of them already. And also, we will be using a palette knife for mixing our paint. Now, with robes, Okay, first of all, I want to talk to you a little bit about the value of color. And um, it's okay um, for um, it to be a little confusing for beginners at first. But the way I'm going to teach you all, and these were the templates for those of you who did not see those before. Okay, back to the value of color. Remember, I teach in the ABCs and 123 method as simple as possible. Now, with fabric, it can be like hands. Uh, if, you, uh, if you will all remember, I was teaching, look for those triangular shapes and lines, and it's easy to get carried away with when working with fabric. And it will be back on momentarily. There we are. And you can really see the outline, and here is the lamp. Now here is the colors on the red for the row, permanent red, Alzerian crimson, and we will be working from lighter to darker on the values. Here is the Alzerian crimson. And really refer to your template, everyone. Do not forget that. That is very important. Paint exactly what you see. And with fabric, it has its faults. And here is a number four filbert that I will be using on our red row. And we have an overlapping layer of fabric as well so I will be painting into it as some different values of red here in my color palette and some of the colors are already pre-mixed and I'm going to go quite the opposite from normal I will be working from the top here around the collar area and I will be working lighter to darker. It's going to look like a big messy mess, but that's okay. 
that's what we want. It's tempting. Again, I want to reiterate that to blend, but do not blend until the end when we're ready to add those crispy lights and we have all of our darker values in the correct position. And with fabric, keep in mind the anatomy that lies underneath the fabric and determining on your focal point or still life uh, figure. Uh, sometimes people and teachers and I myself will lay fabric a certain, certain way for students to paint because I want them to recognize the different shapes and the different color of those shapes in the fabric and the different values and the light source determining where it is coming in on your template will determine where the fabric will be lighter and darker. So you will see me looking up at the left hand top of uh, our Lord's head quite often because I am wanting to make sure proportionately that my light source is coming in on the fabric in the correct way. Subtility is a word to keep in mind as well when working with fabric. I don't want to use words like drastic or intense because that will only confuse you. So that's why I say lighter to darker and darker to lighter. So you want to keep checking your uh, template quite often. And as you can see, I'm not doing any blending or anything right now. Now we are probably going to do a part two uh, on this painting tutorial on uh, painting the red robe on Jesus. So everyone stay tuned for that video. You won't want to miss that. And as always, everyone, and until we meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.